live for CPC News Today. My name is Jasmine Harvell, and I am in the wonderful restaurant of Mi Cielo, beautiful name, in a beautiful city called Downey, California. We are here for the Culinary Fight Club. So get your boxing gloves on, because we got some chefs ready to fight. Mario Medina. So thank you for coming and enjoy my food. So I'm glad to make this event and that's a challenge for me always. All my guests um, enjoy my food and try. It's different palettes. Everybody have a different palettes and it's hard to to take the first place. So we'll see. We'll see. So how do you think you did in the competition today? This was a different, even though you have a home state advantage of uh, this is being your restaurant, how do you feel you did? No, it's a bandage, but at the same time, it's a lot of pressure because I need to take the first place because it's obviously it's my place, so I need to take my best. I need to do my best. Well, I think you did your best, and it's probably going to be amazing. I can't wait to try it. I haven't tried anything yet, but I will. I already tried your sopes, and they're so good. Thank you. The sopes, everything. Thank you so much for having this event because now I know about Mi Cielo. There you go, you need to stop by and come back and I make something special for you when you come. Ooh, that sounds amazing. With Miss Natalie, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you, how are you? I'm doing fabulous. I mean, it was intense competition. How do you feel that you did? Definitely, I think we did really great with the ingredients that we had, so I'm very confident. We'll, we'll see about the outcome, right? Right, I can't wait to find out. So you have a restaurant yourself, right? Your family owns? Yes, so my parents started a restaurant back in 20, uh, 2003. It's called El Coraluense. Um, we are now situated in the city of Bell Gardens. You can come and visit us and try the best seafood in town. So are you the only woman cooking at your own restaurant, as, yeah. at the family's restaurant too? <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm the only girl out of three boys. Um, I have three boys, myself, and then obviously my mom and dad. So my mom and I are the only girls in the family, so it's very exciting always to do things like this, you know? We challenge the boys a little bit. Yes, oh my gosh, that's amazing. So it's great to always see some women in the kitchen, uh, other than just males in the kitchen, you know? It's making a difference, changing the world. One woman at a time. Right. Yeah, it's very difficult. You know, as a woman in the industry, um, it's a it's a male dominated industry. Right. So as a woman in the industry, it's a little bit difficult. But as long as you show your talent, nothing else matters. <laughs> yes, kick ass! I'm so excited. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I I haven't tried your food yet. Oh, we we still have a little bit left. So I'm gonna I'm gonna save a plate for you guys. Yes. I'm so excited. I can't wait to try it. Here we are with Chef Hugo Miranda. Chef of, uh, I'm sorry, the so restaurant. I'm the chef at the Sonoma Grill, uh, downtown Norwalk. Downtown, downtown Norwalk, and you were telling me a little bit about Norwalk and Whittier. There's not too much going on, but you're bringing in that flow, that so, game. So what I'm trying to do is uh, bring modern food to Norwalk area, meaning a uh, farm to table, fresh ingredients. Uh, I'm seasonal, meaning that I like to showcase what's in season. You know, teach our guests, you know, our local community uh, that. In October, there's blah, 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 meaning like there's stone fruit, there's root vegetables and stuff like that, uh, and showcase the natural ingredients and showcase the natural food, how it goes. But that's what I'm trying to do for Norwalk right now. Instead of the talk in L.A., the talk in Anaheim, the talk in Norwalk, you could do it anywhere. Anybody could deliver food and fresh product to any location. Exactly. Exactly. Fresh food in any location. Man, that, what was that? Stone, stone what? Stone what? The, for October, the seasonal fruit? Stone fruit. Stone fruit. Yeah. And what? in October you get like squashes, you know, yeah. pumpkins. Uh, Ooh. Like when I said like squashes, uh, you get butternut squash, you know, spaghetti squash, all types of squashes. I can name them, you know. And, 
and yeah. you said it's Italian modern so fusion. It's modern Italian. So first modern, and then you get Italian. Ah, I see. We gotta check this out. So come check us out. I am here with Chef. Hi, Ivan Cruz. Ivan Cruz. Ivan Cruz. Yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding, however you want to say it. Um, so, quick little question on uh, today. Are you excited for today's yeah. culinary fight? Yeah, I'm really excited. You know, I had a lot of things to do at work, but I'm here now, so I'm really, really excited. <laughs> Can't be thinking about work, we got to think about the food. Yeah. So, what, what ingredients are you potentially, I don't want to give away, like potentially going to grab in this pantry run? Well, I want to keep it simple, because if I go too far, I'm probably going to lose, so I'm just going to get like, all traditional French uh, stuff. I'm gonna get some red onion, probably sear it sometime. I do want to get a chicken stock, and there's only two, so I gotta run my ass over there. So. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be crazy. Yeah. I didn't even know. That's yeah. insane. But that yeah. sounds really good. Yeah, That's. Yeah. Do you normally do like a French cuisine when you're in the um, at catch? The yeah. catch? Yeah. Well, uh, my executive chef Corey Rab. He comes from uh, his uh, chef Thomas Keller, famous chef up in San Francisco. So he was uh, teaching me all the French techniques and I want to uh, experience it here. Let's see how it goes. That sounds amazing. I'm so excited. I'm from San Francisco. Oh, really? Yes, I am. And I do a little cooking myself. We already spoke of this. I do. You taught me how to cook, create some amazing butternut squash, but there's probably better butternut squash at the catch, right? Yes, yes. You, uh, you should come and try it. I will. Best believe it. I will. That's awesome, man. Well, thank you so much for giving us some time. And we're going to do some salsa dancing out of here. <laughs> Until the next episode. Right? Yes. Right. And we are here for the Culinary Fight Club. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. boom, boom. <laughs> I'm here with already my favorite, Sir Ryan. Yes. And Sir oh, Ryan, you got to show me. You yeah, got to show me these spices, man, yeah, that you got coming up. You know, we got to show it to you. You got a little... A little spice coming to you. I ain't gonna tell you what I'm cooking tonight, but we got the spices coming to coming to full effect. Wait, we so, gotta show we gotta show this. We guys. gotta show this. You gotta look at this. We you got know. Sir Ryan. He's got his own it, spice right it's, here. It's the mug shot. Do you Come see on. that? He's got his own little mugshot on there. They ain't playing no games. You really no selling games. these too, huh? We really selling these. <laughs> you know, look me up, Amazon, my website. You got Ancho Ancho Chili Ancho Chili, Ancho Chili Barbecue yeah, Rub. You. Okay, yes. this is this is probably fire, guys. I'm yeah. telling you, you gotta get it. I'm, I'm gonna be your spokesperson hey, right now, okay? It, it is you fire. Put she me said in probably. There. I'm saying it is. You know, we're gonna it, keep it right there. It is. <laughs> he said it. So you gotta do it. You know. Buy it. Amazon. We got you. Amazon. Shoot. Come on. Get at me. <laughs> Sir Ryan, guys. I'm so excited. So are you excited to be here? Wait, uh, what other spices do we have? Is this what is this su Sudach? Sudach juice. So that is a, um, it's a um, hybrid of um, yuzu juice. Oh. Yuzu juice, kind of a cross between per, uh, Peruvian and Japanese. So we're going to, it's my secret ingredient for tonight. All right, I'm not going to ask any more questions. You know, just wanted to figure wanted out to what, what's what, going on. I just want to know what's going on, what's you know. Going on, you know. I'm just you know? trying to get a feel you know, for how, you know, chefs took. Like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're having too much fun here. Oh yeah. Okay, but I'm so happy that you are here. Thank you. Um, what Thank type you of food do you normally cook at your restaurant? Uh, we do all types of food, you know, all different events, uh, but I specialize in Cajun Creole. So. Cajun, Cajun Korean? No, Cajun Creole. Oh, Creole. Oh, of course. Of course, come oh, on. Come on, now. what am I talking about? I don't know, but thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You did great. this evening. I'm doing good. How are you? I am doing fabulous now Thank that I've had one of your fabulous beers. Oh, that's good. Thank you guys for a stop by to give you the opportunity to come from LA, Beverly Hills. He's a big, big, he's going to start it. I become PR just for him. He's my good, uh, good friend and we're working together in some business and right now thank you for a stop by, for coming to support the Sintau beer. I'm glad you love it. Hell, Why you yeah, like of course. It? Why you like it? It's so refreshing. Like for a beer, it tastes like I personally I don't drink a lot of beer, but I will drink Sing Tao. Like this beer is so light, refreshing. It's got a really nice flavor. 
Um, and you know, I just all around something that I, I look for. If I'm going to drink beer, it's going to be Zing Tao. It's Zing Tao. We encourage you to drink. Zing Tao. You got to try it. Hills, I'm telling Italian, you, it's Euro, the China. new trend, guys. So put it on your Instagram, put it on your YouTube. Very good. Zing Tao. Hello, my name is Jasmine Harvell and I am with CPC News Today. And today we have a very special guest with us. Hello, my name is Sonia Ette. Hi Sonia, how are you? Oh, thank you, thank you for having me. Of course, thank you for coming to Culinary Fight Club. Yes. I mean, this, I don't know if you can smell the smells that I'm smelling, but it is... It smells so good. Right? Yes. So, tell me about yourself. A little bit of chit chat. Yeah. My name is Sonia and I'm a celebrity designer of, of many, many years and my husband and I also, and I also own the called Beverly Hills Design Institute. We own the fashion college. It's a four-year degree college and I do uh, acting a lot as a designer and teaching all my students as well. Wow, that's amazing. I could tell just by your outfit. It's a oh, gorgeous you. outfit. I love the coat. Necklace is beautiful. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you for coming. So uh, I think we have about maybe 15 minutes left, or maybe I would say 10 minutes left before I, the chefs are almost done with their wow. meals. So we all get to try it. I'm really excited. I wish you all the best. And this is an amazing restaurant. And I would love to come back. And Yes, uh, Misielo Restaurant in Misielo Downey, California. Restaurant. Yes, Misielo Restaurant rules. Misielo. Here's the hard part. These two gentlemen tied. They're tied, but we have a tiebreaker. Put your hands together because they're both winners. They're both winners. Your culinary fight club winner for seafood 2017. The season finale will be back next year, so make sure you check us out on culinaryfightclub.com. Post all these videos, hashtag Culinary Fight Club. I know, the suspense is killing you. Chef Ryan Rondano. Chef Ryan gets the golden ticket. He gets the Culinary Fight Club jacket. Hold that up there, my friend. Golden ticket. Guys, put your hands together for Chef Ryan. Thank you so much for coming out. Do not leave tonight because right now we've got the DJ spinning up tunes. We've got the bar open. Are you guys ready to have a fun time here tonight? Yeah? Let's kick up some tunes and we will see you guys next year for Culinary Fight Club.
Ah, 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 ah,